Okay, friends, sorry for the delay. Um, I had to get a couple things squared away and set up, and of course, all of my apps on my uh, computer that are tied to the OBS software uh, decided to update, and uh, as a result, we're not linked to um, my <laughs> my OBS stuff, so I kind of had a mini panic, but we're good now. So um we're gonna be fine uh <laughs> but i would like to get us uh kicked off uh with some mead first um i'm pretty excited about today's meads uh it's a, a comparison i've wanted to do for a little bit but i figured i would save my my first uh taste of this comparison for the stream um and so without further ado, let's switch over to the bar camera. Now I want to apologize for two things uh, in this stream. <laughs> uh, if I walk around, I will probably hear my feet sticking to the ground. Um, I was working on another uh, batch of mead and had a little mishap, so the ground is kind of sticky, um, and one pass with the Swiffer was not enough to um, improve that, um, so I apologize for that noise. I will try to not pace. Um, but the other the other thing I'd like to apologize for is the uh, microphone on this camera. Um, I, if you are noticing, I don't have the lapel mic, which let's be honest, it's not great audio quality anyways, but uh, I forgot to charge it. So uh, we are just doing the audio from the iPhone. So I guess let me know <laughs> which one sounds better. And that is the one we'll go with for the time being. Um, let's get these meads opened up. Um, so, up uh, first we've got Hegir, um, which is a cherry mead from Grenfell's Ancient Collection. And I am pretty excited about it, um, because not only did they use European cherries when making it, um, but they aged it on cherry wood, um, which is, I mean, I don't know. I just like complimentary things like that. So, gotta love that noise. And we are coming through nice and red. Um, I wanna save my thoughts nose-wise for uh, when I have the other one poured. So without further ado, um, we have Havoc Mead's Psychopomp, which is a sour cherry mead. Um, also using European grapes, um, but fermented at a higher temperature. Um, and I mean, it's a, a little bit, you know, I, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save my thoughts. <laughs> um, but it, it has clarified a lot because I remember some of the first cans I poured of this uh, were not so clear. So that's exciting to me because I like my meats a little bit more clarified. Um, so, and I mean, you can tell the color difference there. This guy is much lighter and this one is a lot deeper red, um, which... I am probably going to attribute to the fact that they brewed it at a higher temperature. So that higher heat is, I mean, it's entropy. It's extracting more from the cherries or the, the cherry, you know, it's extracting more of those flavors um, and really dialing it up. Um, so uh, technically these are both, Viking blood style meats. Um, Viking blood, ironically enough, was not actually invented by the Vikings themselves. Um, 
the Vikings were not alive or operating when when it uh, when the style debuted in the 1300s. Um, so what people have kind of chalked it up to is a marketing ploy from you know 14th century marketers. <laughs> Uh, so props on them because uh, they they definitely you know knew what they were talking about and people flocked to it. So because I mean clearly the style is still around and people associate Viking blood mead style with you know cherry mead. Like you don't have to you know say it, um, but technically it is a cherry melomel, melomel meaning a uh, a mead with fruit in it. Um, I don't necessarily want to clarify that every time. Uh, but it, for this stream, it kind of makes sense to do that. Um, so I will probably just refer to them as cherry beans. But that uh, they are both technically Viking blood styles. Um, and uh, also, um, sorry, very sorry to keep doing this, but these are uh, both out of stock right now. Um, but they are kind of staples at Grenfell and Havoc Mead, so uh, you can probably expect restock soon, although I don't actually know that, so don't take my word as gospel. Um, but uh, I will stop for a second and give us some uh, preliminary nosing thoughts. Hmm. The, the headgear is uh, much, much more well, okay, I can. I, the headgear is very sweet on the nose, uh, and and it's difficult. You don't really think about like smelling sweetness, but it smells sweet, um, almost floral, I guess. Um, but uh, I mean, that cherry presence is there, but it's not like medicinal. It's um, it's definitely like more summery. Um, and then our friend the psychopomp. definitely smells um more intense um which is kind of interesting because it's also a lower abv but uh i am going to sip this one first the headgear and we'll get some tasting thoughts so the cherry presence um is like mildly tart, but um, there's still like a really rich honey sweetness. Um, it uh, kind of towards the end, you you get a lot of the you know wood influence, um, kind of some mild florality mixed with wood tannin, um, and the mouthfeel is. Um, not as round as I was expecting, given the sweetness. Um, and it's still actually, you know, got, got some fizz to it, which is, uh, always exciting to see. Mm. And the, uh, the word headgear is actually a, uh, it is derived from the old Norse word for a cherry orchard. Um, which is a neat fact. Um, and let's hop in here on the psycho pump. Sorry about the sticky floor. That is a very um, full body that that's kind of the first thing that screams at me. Um, way more intense, like sour cherry tartness. Um, it's, uh, it's got kind of an astringent finish. Um, the bubbles here, you can, are definitely, I mean, it's, it's more carbonated. Um, but uh, it is, it's not as sweet. Um, it's definitely more acidic. Um, 
but yeah, it's got a, a very stringent finish, um, but it's not unpleasant. It's a it's a good experience overall. Um, it, I, yeah, I would describe this one as intense and sour, um, and this one as friendly and sweet, um, with some complexity towards the end. Um, the Psycho Pomp also, I've got my notes here, so forgive me. Um, it's kind of a cross-cultural word for the beings that bring those from the land of the living to the land of the dead or the underworld, um, often represented by birds. So um, it makes sense that there would be a raven on, on the can, um, especially also considering uh, Odin's proximity to the raven. Um, I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, Psychopomp is just uh, a fitting name for a Viking blood style meme. Um, so yeah, we've got the the old cherry orchard and the <laughs> bird escorting the, the Vikings to the dead, um, to the land of the dead rather. Um, so yeah. Uh, before we head back, I will probably pour these out of glasses and maybe into uh, fun mead horns just for, you know, immersion purposes for, uh, for playing some Skyrim. But I would also, um, before I do that, uh, I would like to give a shout out to the Pollinator Project, uh, someone who works at a company I used to work for. Um, they have a small business where they make all sorts of honey and craft beverage inspired or oriented products um, that kind of overlap, uh, including some small batch soaps. Um, the link is in the description actually. Um, I ordered some of their cold brew soap and I figured I would unwrap it here. I forget which coffee roaster uh, they actually used for, for the cold brew aspect of it. Um, but I will look that up momentarily or, and, and let you know. Um, but I have high hopes. Uh, I think, think it's going to be good. Um, it's kind of a, you can tell it's a, a homemade one, but it's cut like really, you know, in an interesting way. Um, it's got, it's like a crinkle cut kind of thing. I'm sorry, uh, I don't necessarily know the, the uh, words for the, the patterns, but it smells very earthy and a little honey sweet. And um, there's, there's a lot of, um, herbaceousness um it almost it's, it's like a coffee cake plus like sage and thyme which is pretty fun eh, maybe not so much time but um yeah i'm gonna wash my hands with this really quick um and i'm gonna have my back to you so i apologize but uh yeah how's everybody doing <laughs> I apologize if this is a little weird. And of course, I did not uh, bring my paper towels, so we are kind of stuck without them. But uh, that's fine. Um, I can air dry. But yeah, we're smelling nice and honey and coffee and herbal. Um, it's a good soap, uh, and it supports a uh, you know small business, and you should check them out. So they have a cold brew soap, um, and they also have a, an oolong tea soap, I believe. Um, so yeah, the Pollinator Project, check them out. Um, we're all honey-oriented people. Obviously, if you're watching a, a mead stream, you're, you're you know, somewhat invested in uh, 
you know, pollinators. So check them out. Um, and I am going to switch back over to the other camera before the uh, Zoom call that has this connected cuts out. Okay, we're back. Uh, give me one second to get the headphones on. Um, and uh, manage my cords here. Um, also, some choices were made. <laughs> uh, basically, I... Well, yeah, I poured the... Um, the Psycho Pump um, into a... My, my one actual mead horn that's like the full-blown horn uh <laughs> it was a choice uh and i set it down and it almost dumped all over me and that would have sucked so <laughs> i'm glad it didn't do that um but yeah this is uh this was on the grenfell website i don't know if it is anymore um but yeah it's a, a full-blown horn with like a gold rim and uh a little stand also carved out of a horn that's kind of neat uh to set it in because this could not stand up by itself um but yeah so nothing like that to feel like a viking um although i'm sure their their meads were a lot uh stiffer than uh, than that one is it's very it's pretty refreshing um it's really light um, while, you know, still having some intense, sour, full-bodiness. I don't know. It's a complex one. I like it. Um, 
let me just get a couple things closed out and get some Skyrim up and running for us. Um, and also move a couple things around on my desktop. Let's see. Sorry, I, I uh, you'd think at this point I'd be a little bit better at uh, at this, but uh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Hey there, Bingus. Sorry, I did not have a lot of access to the chat uh, while I was <laughs> over at the. Uh, at the bar, so um, I'm I'm catching up now. But uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So um, let's get some Skyrim stuff up, and hopefully all our mods load the right way. So you know, we'll we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. Um, let me actually also get switched over to my gameplay camera. If it works. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> I, was, I was a little worried there. Okay, so for those of you who uh, do not remember where we were at last time, um, we are currently at um, the Companions uh, at their Mead Hall. We just got the uh, Anniversary Edition Silver Armor, and we're gonna do some uh, quests involving the Companions and hopefully become a werewolf uh, because, uh, and I don't know if you caught this earlier or not, Bingus, but um, the these two meads that we're sipping are what are known as Viking blood style meads. Um, just basically any mead with cherry in it. That's what that is. Um, so it's uh, it's fitting that you know we would become a werewolf, uh, or a, you know, to be fair, a vampire would be cool too. But we're in the companion, so uh, werewolves and, and Viking blood meads, you know, they go hand in hand. So. Cheers, and let's let's get playing. This uh, mead horn is really unwieldy, and I am <laughs> constantly worried about tipping it over. And it might, who knows, it might happen by the end of this stream. Ooh. Okay, let's uh, f figure out where we're at uh, quest-wise. Oh yes. We are meeting Farkas to get the fragments of Wuthrad. Uh, so, let's get going. All right, do I wanna walk all the way through here? Let's see. Yeah. I mean, it's only that far. Hmm, now we're gonna, we're gonna fast travel. That's a lot of walking. Okay, also I gotta turn my headphones up a little. And off we go. Also in the uh, in the last uh, session, uh, we fought a dragon over there for arguably too long. Uh, it was a little bit of a, an ADHD moment, but you know what, it's fine. What's life without a little bit of ADHD? Oh, hello. I don't have time to hunt. Um, so the ABVs on both of these, and actually, I'll give you, I'll talk to Farkas for a second. Actually, okay, he's not gonna, I thought he was gonna trigger a conversation. Um, the ABVs, uh, the Psychopomp, the one I have in the big horn, uh, is 6.9%. Um, and then the Hegir, that I have in um, this this little uh, comparatively dainty rocks glass horn um, is 13.4 percent. Um, but in a in a weird twist of events, the uh, the headgear is a lot sweeter. Um, 
and and more mild almost uh whereas the the psychopomp is a lot more uh, intense flavor wise but it's because they brewed it at a higher temperature so we should keep moving i am not gonna pay him to train me right now i am going to let's see i'm gonna ask him what is wuthrad isgramor was the hero who started the companions wuthrad was his weapon he came from the ancient homeland and killed all the elves. But not all of them, because some of them are still here. It is kind of a racist weapon. Uh... <laughs> Until next time. Yeah. Uh... For those of you that don't know, Wuthrad was forged explicitly to kill elves. Um... Alright, let's get in here. Dustman's Cairn. All right. Let's see. Looks like someone's been digging here, and recently. Yep. Tread lightly. Mm. Yeah, I am the the embodiment of caution, clearly. Nice little two-handed boost from a book. Maybe we'll sit down and read it sometime. Not today. Um, let's see. Okay. This should be easier. It is a novice lock. There we go. All right. All right. Some swords. Okay, on we go. Let's uh, let's go find those silver hand. You know, honestly, I don't. So if you haven't played um, the Companions Quest, um, oh hello, the uh, ow. Good enough. All right. So, anyways, the uh, the companions are always up against this faction called the Silver Hand, um, and I I feel like they weren't uh, utilized super well. I think that um, I think there was you know stuff. It's it's never really been confirmed, but uh, I think there was stuff that. Uh, they were planning on using um, and and doing with the silver hand where they might be like a, a joinable faction um, but uh, it's just not they, they cut that obviously um, so I think sometimes it feels a little bit like the companions can feel a little bit like a, a hollow quest line as much as I enjoy it it's a little one sided um, because the Silver Hand seem like they have kind of a, a noble endeavor, and the, uh, I don't know, the, we'll, we'll discover more, but there are reasons why somebody might not want to join the Companions, uh, that we will stumble into pretty soon here. Sacrifice place. Be careful around here. Let's look for a way to open the bars. Right, I wonder how we could do this. <laughs> um, hmm, do I have any enchanted weapons right now? I know this is not what, uh, you know, you're really supposed to be doing uh, in the when you're dungeon crawling, but whatever, that's fine. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna disenchant, get my enchantment up. Um, oh, also, so I did, while I was installing some mods and testing them out, I did, I do think I changed my difficulty settings so I wouldn't have to deal with it. Yeah, we're gonna turn that up. I do not want it on novice right now. Okay. Um, cool. I'm gonna take some potions and 
What's this? No, it's not in this one. I thought it was in this. What? Okay, I forget how this puzzle is. Oh, right in front of my freaking eyes. The lever. Now look what you got oh, yourself hey, Davidson. into. No worries. Just Welcome sit tight. To the stream. I'll find the release. Tasting meads. Ah. It's time to die, dog. We knew you'd be coming. We are fittingly tasting some uh, Viking blood that? style meads uh, for the Where's companions' the quests. Dies. Killing you will make for an excellent story. Oh, will it? None of you will be alive to tell it. He's not wrong. I love that he has to, like, run away to, you know, transition out of being a werewolf. I hope I didn't scare you. What was that? It's a blessing given to some of us. We can be like wild beasts. Fearsome. You're gonna make me a werewolf? Oh, I hope no. they do. Only the circle have the beast blood. Prove your honor to be a companion. Eyes on the prey, not the horizon. We should keep moving. Still the Draugr to worry about. Man, I mean, the, I remember the first time uh, experiencing that. That was, uh, it's a, it's, it was a fun, uh, fun moment. And I was like, I just want to be a werewolf. Um, however, um, it becomes, you know, kind of clear throughout it. Um, like the, the silver hand, I don't know. Like if you were trying to like do some, I don't know, uh, a very specific character, um, you couldn't really like do, um, I, I don't know. Like you couldn't do anything like warrior or companions esque because when you go down the companions path you kind of lose like um like that you have to become a werewolf at one point even if you like choose not to be one later on uh you still have to be one for a while um so I, I think some people like would have preferred and I think they were working on but never saw to fruition a uh, a version of the game where you could also join the silver hand if you were playing like a holy style warrior because that would have been kind of cool I think let's go Kill cams. All right. Thank you, thank you. And let's go. Ooh, you gotta love these. Just a big stack of coins in the middle of the game. One time uh, on the base, like OG PC version of Skyrim, uh, I had the Helgen Reborn quest, uh, or the, the Helgen Reborn mod, rather, um, and I tried to play it with, um, or I tried to just, like, at, an, at the end of it, you get, like, the, the tower as, like, a player home. Um, it was a fully voiced mod, and it was actually really cool. But, uh, yeah, you get that, the tower as a player home, and it, it was... I mean, really fun, uh, and I thought it would be really cool if I had my own tower to, like, fill the basement with, like, gold and jewels. So I individually placed, painstakingly, singular pieces of gold and, uh, single jewels. Um, it turns out, with the 32-bit version of Skyrim, that was not the right choice. Um... That uh, made the game crash every time I went into that room, which was not fun. <laughs> Hello. Mercy. Oh. 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 
with infinite arrows. <laughs> Ooh, I took an axe that I just know I'm not gonna have room for in like 10 minutes. Let's see. I thought I did. Huh. Weird. Weird. Okay, well, I am actually going to switch over to the silver sword for a little bit of a... Uh, help with the undead folk. Yeah, I did that, Autumn. I, uh, it looked really cool for the, like, 10 seconds you could look at the room before it, like, <laughs> just wouldn't load and the game would crash. Uh, like, yeah, once, once you stepped foot into the building, it would move at like three frames per second and then yeah it was your fate was sealed from that point onward um let's see do i have enough stuff yeah shoot i don't really want to wear my backpack right now because i think it looks dorky but i have a lot of crap so i need the backpack Just get out of my way. Ooh. Look at this. Ooh, I don't want the hide boots. I'm really bad about that. Just taking everything that's in a chest all at once. Okay, ditch. Things I have duplicates of that aren't jewelry, but not the torturer's hood because it's dope. Okay, and we're out. All right goal by the end of the stream is to become a werewolf. So, uh, I do kind of get in my own way by walking slow and talking and going into every corner, but that's just how the cookie crumbles, friends. Ah, gotta go the other way. It's a master lock. Oh, jeez. Ooh, okay. Maybe this is a bad choice. I do have 36 lockpicks, though. <sighs> now that's the right direction. Ah. Did it. Nice. Let's go. Flawed Varla Stone. I think that is a uh, Creation Club add-on. Or Anniversary Edition, rather, at this point. Um, I don't know. How many of you played with the uh, Creation Club uh, stuff? Because, dude, we talk about how much they suckered us into, like, buying the game on every single platform. But, like... They definitely, um, beyond that, uh, suckered me, at least, into uh, once they had the special edition out, which, to be fair, I got for free. But they made their money off of me because I just made, um, or I, I bought the Creation Club stuff as it came out. Uh, to be fair, I did wait for sales and stuff, but all in all, I probably sent a couple. I, I probably spent a couple like like 60 bucks so that's the equivalent of the game itself so they still made their money off of me i'm glad you're here bingus uh what what are you sipping on if you're sipping something ah, come on let me loot it there we go okay let's see nope oh, of course All right. Did I even loot the... Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, okay. Out of that mode. Now. Oops, I am sorry, Park. 
focus. Alright, I need to... I'm about to get wrecked. I am going to... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna use my level up. Uh, we'll do health. And we'll do magic. And let's pick some perks, friends. Ooh, whiskey and fruit punch. Wow. What a combo. What kind of whiskey? Hey, Reese's peanut butter cup is, uh, you know, that's good. That's a good combo. I think it might pair better with uh, whiskey than, uh, than fruit punch, but uh, maybe that's just me. Okay. Because we are just kind of being a little warrior man, uh, I'm gonna do that. Oh, also, uh, everybody, uh, I did um, do the mod, or one of the mods where you get like an extra perk every other um, time, or every other level, uh, just so you can unlock some perks quicker. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, we'll do some sneak. I know that's probably a little bit, eh, a little cheaty, but what can I say? All right, we'll do the heavy armor again. I just think a lot of the heavy armor looks cooler than the lighter armor, so regardless of my character, I almost always end up with mostly heavy armor, but like a couple light armor pieces, so. Yeah, no. But, uh, actually I'm gonna wait on that. I don't know, I think I could, I could save it. Um, hmm, maybe enchanting. Or restoration, ooh. Restoration's a good idea. Cool. And, a little regeneration, why not? Cool, okay, we're good, all right. Cool. Thanks, Farkas. Got it from here. Ooh, a silver great sword? I will take that, thank you very much. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Alto wine. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch over to that two-handed silver sword, I think, because this that's kind of cool. And good night. And we're gonna do it again. Okay, my, my level's a little high. Oh man, dude. I believe that, uh, Bengus, uh, I, today was hot. I don't know, you know, where you live, but I live in Colorado and it was very hot. Um, I know the UK's really hot. I seen a lot of things where yeah they were they were predicting that uh, people people were uh, gonna have a hard time with it so that sucks all right all right let's get You know, it is what it is. If you uh, if you gotta go, I don't blame you. Um. Oh, hello. I am not gonna. Let's see. I'm gonna have a hard time with this feller. Let's see. Ancient Nord bow. What was that? Yep. Over here. I forget that I don't have the. The zoom unlocked. Okay, I'm just gonna. I should have just followed Farkas, friends. Um, Skyforge steel. Let's get him. Wow. Good enough. Hey. 
Oh, 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 yeah. Hey. No worries. Uh, I'm okay with some low stream views. I'm mostly, I'm here for the love of the game, baby. But I do appreciate your view and I appreciate you hanging out. Um, okay, I know I'm supposed to go that way, but I want to go up here. I love a good game physics mess. Okay, cool. All right, let's get going. What was that? Oop, that was a bad choice. I saw it right as I stepped on it. All right. Where's it? Okay, Fargus. All right. Uh, I'll take their stuff. Oh, hey, thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate the share. All right, all right. Into the dustman's crypt. Before I go any further, time for a little more mead. I will more officially announce this uh, later on, um, but in the event the that nobody can uh, make it, um, or in the event that nobody's, or there are less people at the end of the stream, um, I will um, be doing a bonus stream on Saturday, FYI. Uh, where we'll have a couple extra drinks and we will uh, we'll do some very special quests. Uh, quests that are near and dear to my heart and are drinks oriented. Because um, I think it'll be fun. All right. We are surrounded by enemies that are through the walls, so I can't really do anything about them. Okay, okay, come out. work of them. Wow. Cool. Well. Maybe I should have ran ahead with him. Oh well. What can you do? Okay, that's that for that room. All right, except for some gold. Okay, um, so I just picked up a bottle of Nord mead, um, and so for anybody watching, here's a tease about the next mead I'm gonna brew, but it's Nord mead, um, because my batch of haunting brew mead just finished up for the most part, but the, the, uh, the reason my other my floor is so sticky over by the bar um, is uh, my my haunting brew spilled a little bit, so um, it's it was a little bit uh, it wasn't quite done fermenting, but I bottled it. So I didn't have any like bottle bombs, but like um, it, it'll definitely pop the cork off and bubble over the edge. So I probably should have waited a little bit before I. <laughs> bottled them, but eh, here we are. Um, also, what am I gonna drop? What am I gonna drop? We'll drop the steel sword. We will... Huh. 
Yeah, we'll ditch the hunting bow, and that's good enough. Cool. But yeah, so uh, my haunting brew mead is conditioning. Um, maybe a little early, but it's conditioning. Um, and my uh, next batch is the Nord Nord mead. So. Yeah, um, Bingus, there is actually a, uh, a Elder Scrolls cookbook that has, uh, the, the real world equivalents of a lot of them, uh, since, you know, some of them you can't get, uh, but, uh, yeah, so, um, I'm kind of, you know, I, I disagree with some of the ingredients they chose for the official recipes, but I'm, I'm brewing them by the books the first time around. Um, there's actually a a uh, video on my channel where I, I brewed Vlod's mead. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through there. Mm, no, I'll go through here. Yes, no, yes, no, okay. Um, sorry, I forget what I was talking about. Um, that's the key I need, cool. Um, let's see, that one requires a key, okay, well, I'm gonna pick the other door then, all right, fine, um, okay, let me try to turn my ADHD off for one second, um, and finish one thought, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I have, I, I brewed Vlod's mead, um, and it, I mean, it was really good. Um, and uh, Haunting Brew uh, is a little bit uh, more mild, but uh, apparently handles uh, handles aging well, which is why it's the first one I did. Um, but then the next one, um, which is just the the Nord Mead style, um, and. Uh, that it's just kind of like a spiced mead with some orange zest. Um, so, uh, it, it'll be a little peppery, a little citrusy. So, I'm excited about that. Um, wow, that was not worth picking that. It's fine. I got some experience. We're good. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm excited about, um, my next, next brew. <laughs> Um, hello, there we go, um, cool, um, what was that? gotta love the skiers, and I assume there are more in the next room over. So on the last one, I only brewed for um, two weeks. Um, on my uh, on my version of Vlod's mead, I brewed for three weeks, um, and I think maybe I should have gone that length of time, but it's too late at this point because I've already put them in bottles. But uh, uh, yeah, I should have given them a little extra time to ferment. But uh, yeah, I did two weeks. Um. Ooh, yeah, I did on the uh, Davidson. I, I, the, I did have a mod that was um. Oh, what was it about? Um. It was where you could, like, when you when you say so in in the Thieves Guild quest, and not to give too much away to everybody who hasn't played this game, and this is, you know, for whatever reason the medium they've chosen to <laughs> experience this game. Um, there, there's a, a quest where you can uh, choose to keep uh, the title to a metery, but in the vanilla version of the game, you can't like do anything with that. Oh, yuck. 
Um. Ugh. Um. That's cool. Um. Anyways, when you keep the um. When you keep the, what am I trying to say? Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use this as a, as a break to catch up on comments. Um, yeah, uh, you could keep the, the uh, Golden Glow Estate title, um, and I would keep, I, I don't know, you can't do anything with it in vanilla, but I had a mod where you could keep keep it and actually run it and hire mercenaries to, you know, do stuff at it and sell, like you could have your mead distributed throughout Skyrim and that was really fun. I had a lot of fun with that. Um, let's see. Cool, cool. Ugh, of course. I need to just eat some ingredients. We gotta take a, a break at one of the, uh, the many... Let's see. We gotta take a break at one of the many, um, shops and sell some, some crap because, uh, I'm a little over encumbered. All right. Just gonna boost my alchemy knowledge really quick. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know necessarily that four weeks is too long. I mean, basically, if, if you're using other ingredients while you're brewing, um, you are just going to, uh, you'll over extract them. Nice. Love a kill cam. Um, So yeah, uh, you can, you run the risk of over extracting a few things, but like they, there's not really any harm in, in leaving it that long. Um, I don't know. Also, I mean, mead is so much simpler to brew than, than like beer. I have brewed beer all of one time um, in my home brew setup. I'm quite the noob when it comes to that. Um, but it like, just the fact that you're using multiple, like, very specific ingredients, it just makes it, like, I don't know, a little more difficult. Um, ah, cool. I was gonna light him on fire, but he's already dead. And actually dead. Um, yeah. I mean, three weeks is good, and then once you bottle it at that point, it's not going to, like, it will still continue to ferment, but it's... I mean, generally, it's not going to, uh, like, overdo it, and, uh, um, pop the, the top or explode or anything like that, um, so, um, but it'll still, like, you know, pressurize a little bit and create some carbonation, and, yeah, um, so there's, there's a sweet spot, and I definitely didn't hit that with my haunting brew, but I can live with it. It'll be fine. Ooh. There's my fragment of Wuthrad, but first I need to learn a word of power. your Vasker with us after we collect all this stuff. Ooh, do we... Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's wake up some dead folk. Saruman can conjure. Nice. I'll rip you. <laughs> I'll 
rip you in half. Nice. Only a fool lets himself surrounded. Well, I would consider dead people fools, so. Okay, now we're waking him up. Let's go. Uh, howdy, Cameron. Oh, and uh, Bingus, uh, making meat is probably the easiest uh, craft brewing thing you can possibly do. Uh, it's, uh, it's, I don't know, compared to beer and stuff like that, it is, uh, it is a lot easier. It is just honey and water and yeast at its base, and then you can add whatever you feel like to kind of improve the flavor as you will, um, or, you know, do different things with it, so, yeah. Um, so, Cameron, I, I know you're late, um, but we are sipping some Viking blood style meads while we do the companions quests. Um, because I think that's fitting. Um, they are both from, I mean, they're from Grenfell and Havoc Meadery. Um, there we go, let's go. Are you kidding? Is there one out here? Yeah, Bingus, mead is, uh, the, at its core, it is, uh, water, honey, and yeast. That's it. Okay, well, that's back the way we came. I don't want to do that. Um, but we made some, some good work out of this, yeah. I know you can just sprint through this, but that, that beats all the fun. I want to sit here and have waves of, of Draugr, and honestly, I wish that this game had more of that. I think, uh, I think that would be fun. But, uh, you know, alas, what can you do? Bingus, do it. Um, definitely, like, look at some, some like, early recipes or something like that, but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's some, there's always, I don't know, there's, there's good, uh, stuff out there for, like, how to, how to get started, uh, and not, you know, not get too, uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be super complex. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, back to your Vasker with us. Ugh, I also used to have a mod that made your Vasker a uh, fast travel point. Um, obviously, I don't have that one. Um, and, but what ifs? Um, I have never actually brewed mead with a honeycomb. Um, I do use raw honey, um, cause that's gonna have the most, you know, active nutrients for stuff, but. We've been awaiting your return. Oh, thank you. This is very ominous at the foot of the steps. <laughs> All right. Why were you waiting for me or why should I care? I'm, who would say that? <laughs> why were you waiting for me? Come, follow me. I've been looking for you. What? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Everybody's gotta talk. Only. Hello. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Please, your hands Enlighten only. me. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving, Moving up, up in the, the world, world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Cool. Well, thanks. Uh, a letter from the Jarl? What could it say? 
It's Jarl Sidgir of Falkreath. Nikolai, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sidgir, and I have the honor uh, to be the Jarl of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. He's kind of a, yeah, he's a, he's a proud individual, that's for sure. Uh, the fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. And actually, you know what? I'm going to try to mimic his voice here. Um, if you're interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me the next time you're in Falkreath. Aside from the honor that accrues the title, my Thanes are entitled to a personal house, Carl. I can also tell you privately that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath would be available for your purchase should your services prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person. I remain Jarl Sidgir of Falkreath. What a guy. Um, that, I mean, yeah, we're, we're already a Jarl, but, uh, we have, um, I don't know, it's, it's fine. Um, that is a Hearthfire DLC add-on, um, and we are able to, uh, you know, um, purchase a house to build out, out there, so that's cool. Brothers and sisters of the Circle, today we welcome a new soul into our mortal fold. Uh, yeah. This man has endured, has challenged, and has shown his valor. Who will speak for him? Farkas probably will. I stand witness to the courage of the soul before us. Would you raise your shield in his defense? I would stand at his back, that the world might never overtake us. And would you raise your sword in his honor? It stands ready to meet the blood of his foes. The blood of my foes. And would you raise a mug in his name? I would lead the song of triumph as our mead hall reveled in his stories. Yeah. Then the judgment of this circle is complete. His heart beats with fury and courage that have united the companions since the days of the distant green summers. Whatever those are. Let it beat with ours that the mountains may echo and our enemies may tremble at the call. It, it shall be so. so. Let's go. Well, Thanks, boy, Godlack. you're one of us now. I trust you won't disappoint. Thanks. Um, is it true that the companions are werewolves? I see you've been allowed to know some secrets before your appointed time. No matter. Yes, it's true. Not every companion, though. Only members of the Circle all share the blood of the beast. Some take to it more than others. What about you? Well, I grow old. My mind turns towards the horizon, to Sovngarde. I worry that Shore won't call an animal to glory as he would a true Nord warrior. Foreshadowing? Living his beasts draws our souls closer to the Daedric Lord Hircine. Some may prefer an eternity in his hunting grounds, but I crave the fellowship of Sovngarde. You're looking to cure yourself. Yes, but it's no easy matter. But you also, don't Cameron, need to share the uh, I did see your warrior. the pictures this of, uh, day is to of rejoice your apartment. Your Looks dope. I like the, and speak the closet. To Yorland if you want it a better is weapon comically than large. Whatever that is. Yes, I will help you cure yourself. And then we'll see you in Sovngarde. Okay. Let's get going and get our next quest so we can become a werewolf. Are we going to end the stream on transforming into a werewolf? Because that would be sick. Okay. What? What? Okay. Who, who do I talk to? Oh. Oh just any of the companions leaders. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Well, let's talk to Skewer, because we can't for long. You still need to prove yourself, Welp. Shut up. I'm looking for work. The idiots in Falkreath still think the best place for prisoners is that hole in the ground. No surprise, but one of them's gotten out again. Mm. At this point, they don't care what happens to her, and neither do mm. I. Best to just kill her and be done with it. Nice. Okay. I'll take care of it. Be careful. This woman is known to be dangerous. Gonna go murder a woman. Fun. 
All right then. All right, let's go. Uh, actually, it's two twenty-one a.m. for role-playing purposes. We're gonna crash in a bed. Actually, we're gonna drink some mead because why not? Food. A little haunting brew. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing like a little haunting brew to put ourselves to bed. Honestly, I mean, should I go get some of my haunting brew and, and taste it just so uh, just so we see where it's at at this point in the fermentation? We're gonna go to some shops really quick because I have stuff to sell. Also, okay, we're gonna take one second, ADHD again, uh, to look at the water mod that I have because mm, I think that looks nice. Uh, it looks a little better than vanilla. It's a little more reflective and a little clearer and the f it flows somewhat more normally. So I like that. Okay, um, let's see, who can we sell stuff to? I don't wanna talk to Nazim, I never wanna talk to Nazim. Also, do I have any, uh, any sicknesses? Okay, I don't, good, thank God. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? No. I've got something. So you're interested in my potions and Arcadia's ingredients? Arcadia's a hack, but she'll buy my stuff, so I guess that's all I can ask. I'll sell you all my pepper. Even if it's zero dollars, I'm gonna sell it probably. Yep, all the bone meal. I'm not gonna do that. I'll sell you that. I did also, okay, clearly. I downloaded the mod that makes dragon bones and dragon scales weigh nothing because they're, they take up so much space in your inventory. So, uh, oh, of course, jeez. Okay, I will sell her a scale and some ectoplasm. Cool, and I've exhausted her of all of her money. Come Fun. back anytime. All right, we out. Blade and shadow, silence and nah. death. These are my arts. Okay, for a fine. modest fee, I'll make great art for you. I know nothing of fear. And Another you change time, your perhaps. Mind, seek me out here. All right, well, that was not the conversation I meant to have. Um, whatever. Uh, let's sell stuff here. Ooh, and I Got forgot I should have sold about that Elithor. Give a holler. Welcome to war. Take I know this is the riveting content that you're here for is me going through and selling my excessively large inventory, but uh, thanks for sticking around. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll, uh, I'll come across hide armor again. It's fine. It's fine. I'll come across all this armor, honestly, but. Um, I do kind of want to have some of it on hand at least. Let's see, we'll sell that. We'll sell. Yeah, I'll sell those. Ooh, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. All right, cool. That is uh, looking to protect yourself. Or deal I guess I'll some just damage. double check. I'll double check. Uh, we'll sell the ancient Nord great sword. Yeah, that's that's a good choice. All right, we'll so, okay. So while I'm running out and good. killing that criminal, um, I do want to 
you know, elaborate on some of the other stuff I said about, um, uh, you know, not wanting to join the companions and why someone might not want to. Um, and rather than walking all the way over there, we're going to pop out to the stables and take a carriage. But anyways, um, I think it'd be cool if you could join the Silver Hand, especially with, I don't know, they could have even added it with the Anniversary Edition, because, like, this Anniversary Edition armor set with, like, the the silver helmet and everything and the, the silver swords and all of that, like, this could have been a really cool, like, you know, character to, to reclaim the... Uh, I don't know, reclaim the companions with a, like, holy anti, like, Daedra character. I think that would have been kind of cool. Um, so, oh, oh well. Um, let's see. Bjorlum, I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Uh, let's go to Falkreath. Climb and back and we'll be off. Thanks, bud. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to right run from old Rorik's dead. He does not sing that like a bard. All right. Let's uh, take our little mercenary character and kill a criminal. Oh, is there a dragon? <sighs> There's a dragon. Uh, do I want to deal with the dragon? I do. I do. I always want to deal with the dragon. Ugh. Are you gonna start some beef? gonna fly over the mountains. Okay. Go away. <laughs> or else we're gonna be here for another 30 minutes. Just... <laughs> ah! It happened. I don't even... Okay. Well... We're gonna pursue our criminals still. Um... Because I think the dragon left right as, as it was, just as it was getting good. Ooh, do I have less? Okay, I have enough stuff to take my dumb backpack off. It's not dumb. It is useful, but I do think the character looks a little more cool with the sword on the back. Um, and maybe with the shield on the back. Okay, and there we go. Oh, dang it. I'm trying to trigger my mod that uh, puts it on the back, and for whatever reason, it's not doing it. Let's see if we can do it. Well, well, well. A mod broke. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> That's fine. We'll deal without it. Okay, criminal's over there. But I do want to discover that tower really quick. And I think there are some spriggans inside, which we will make short work of. Especially if I have a torch. Okay, let's discover this place and beat up some wildlife. Oh, I forgot 
they heal. Okay, we're gonna level up. Oh, I don't have any level ups. Okay, we're gonna take some potions. And just like that, we're good as new. And I'm gonna switch to my orcish sword. I do like that they used like an elf, or not elf, elk asset for the uh, the sound of the spriggan. I think that's kind of cool, uh, making it sound more, uh, I don't know, wildlifey. Okay. Back on track. Just needed to discuss, oh, this is a fun spot too. I may have to get out the bow and arrow, friends. I wish I had my zoom, because that's always really helpful with these kind of situations, but we're too low level. Oh, I missed, shoot. Okay, well, uh, 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 uh. Wait, I didn't kill them. What? Who killed them? <laughs> huh? Well, um, I guess somebody killed them. Or my arrow was just a really clean <laughs> shot from really far away, although it would have said that I did damage, so. Ah, classic. <laughs> you know, you don't have to kill them if they just fall off the bridge. Life hack. I bet these criminals just killed them, so maybe we'll go try and see if we can find their body. Maybe I need to aim a little higher. Ay, ay, ay. I know everybody goes to sneak archery, but, uh, you know. And once you get, like, a higher level, it's uh, a little more useful, but I think low level, it's actually kinda, I don't know, it's not super interesting gameplay, but I do wanna kill that one guy, so. Uh, hello, rocks. And we'll take his stuff. And... I know there was another bandit around. Oh, yucky. Of course. Uh, I'm just trading arrows with you. There you go. Dude, I want to catch it like the, the elf in the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power trailer, where he like catches the arrow and then knocks it. Ugh, of course, come on. Oh, I hear them. Ugh, yucky. Okay. Okay. Fine. I'll deal with you. Ew. Gross. Okay. Um. All right. All right. Ooh, are you brewing uh, the uh, Blackbriar mead by chance? Uh. Oh yeah, you totally. Um. Also, Colin. Sorry about the spiders. Wasn't my uh, wasn't my choice. Although to be fair, I do think. Uh, you know, I, I like fighting a spider from time to time, but okay, right in the wood. Let's just trading shots with this person. That's fine. 
I might just run up there and push them off. Oh, I shot the arrow out of the air. That was fun. There we go. That's the stuff. All right. Cool. Um, cool. Yes, dots. <laughs> I will call you dots. Um, well, I'm going to discover whatever that house is, and I'm going to see... I think those bandits killed the criminal that I was supposed to kill because... It was like right here, so I don't know. But I'm gonna go up there anyways to investigate because that's wild uh, and I can't not. I don't know, usually, okay. To be fair, Skyrim's always a little buggy, but um, it I don't know, it would like, I, I feel like it's never that buggy. Ooh, it's Pine Watch. I believe that one's tied to a Thieves Guild quest. Okay, where's my criminal? It should be right in here that they died because that's where the marker was. <sighs> Oh, I'm a jerk. Well, we left a deer within an inch of its life. And we took the life of a skeever. So, you know. Oops. Okay. I am just baffled about <laughs> the, uh, the arrow I shot out of the air. Uh, I'm kind of, I think I'm gonna live off that high for a second, cause that was wild. That's what I'm talking about, come on. Maybe I should get the uh, dwarven mud crab, make it follow me around. My kill cams are a little buggy. Let's see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think I'm gonna climb through here and try to find every single, uh, try to find the, the criminal, cause uh, I think I could uh, ADHD my way around here for literally forever. Um, and I don't know that that's necessarily what you really want to watch. So, we're going to head back to the companions and get our next companions quest, because I think it's another silver hand one at, where we get to become a member of the circle if we complete it successfully. I think. I think. Oop. Well, I guess we're going this way. I don't have whirlwind sprint, otherwise I would have just sprinted over there. Oops, okay, well. We're going this way, guys. And it wants me to go through the back door, of course. Oop, hey, whoa, eh, skewer, no, no, don't go to bed yet. I gotta talk to you. You still need to prove yourself, Well, Well, that criminal won't be a problem anymore. Bit by bit, we bring honor to this land, and you've brought honor to the Companions. More importantly, some gold. Heck yeah. Oh, and I get a nice hundred dollars. Yes, I have something special for you. But it's not for everyone to hear. Meet me in the Underforge tonight. Okay. We will speak more. Cool. Where's this Underforge? I forget that you've never seen it. Beneath the Skyforge, where Yorland works. What? The door is hidden, but I will show you the way. A what? What does it mean to be a companion, Skior? I wish more of our ranks asked such questions. I've started seeing the companions as a kind of family. 
I've battled next to every man and woman here, and the bonds of sweat are stronger than those of blood. I would trust anyone here with my life, which is more than I'd say for the milk drinkers who raised me. Hey, there's nothing wrong with drinking milk. I'll take my leave then. Cool. I'm gonna wait for one hour. And that gave him enough time to get to the Underforge. Maybe. Well, we'll just pretend I followed him out this door. Oops. And also, uh, real quick, I'm gonna ditch the arrows and the helm. Ooh, yeah, um, prison hooch, yeah, uh, I, uh, uh, it's not really my cup of tea, um, I would rather <laughs> have a, a more, a more interesting, uh, you know, thing, uh, than just fermented sugar and water. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I suppose honey and water and yeast is not that far off, but there's more fun things you can not add now. to, to, the to uh, need, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, my, my opinion of Are you prison, prepared? Hooch is, prison hooch is... Um, okay, what is this place, or I'm ready for whatever test is next? I'm gonna go with, I'm ready for whatever test is next. This is no test. Ah, this is a gift. Come inside. Let's go, werewolf time. A literal cup of tea, yes. I'm glad you came. It's been a long time since we had a heart like yours among our numbers. That pitiful ceremony behind the hall does not befit warriors like us. Yeah. You are due more honor than some calls and feasting. I would hope you recognize Ayla, even in this form. Yep, looks just like her. to be your forebear. We do this in secret because Codlack is too busy trying to throw away this great gift we've been granted. He thinks we've been cursed, but we've been blessed. How can something that gives this kind of prowess be a curse? So we take matters into our own hands. Yep. To reach the heights of the Companions, you must join with us in the shared blood of the wolf. Are you prepared to join your spirit with the Beast World, friend? What if I don't want to be a werewolf? Or, I'm ready. I do kind of want to say, what if I don't want to be a werewolf, just to see. So, uh... What if I don't want to be a werewolf? That is your choice. We will not force you. But to join the circle, your blood must be as ours. Meet us here when you're ready. Well, Dots, um, I mean, really all you've missed are the, the, uh, the bar pour I did at probably around 6.45, but just I poured the two meads that we're sipping. Uh, they are both Viking blood meads, which is perfect for what we're about to do. Um, it was uh, Grenfell Meadery's Hegir and uh, Havoc Mead's Psychopomp. Um, they are both cherry meads, which also means that they're cherry melomels, um, otherwise known as uh, Viking blood meads. So, um, yeah, we're, we're sipping both of those. Uh, the Hegir is a little bit stronger at 13.4%, but it's sweeter and more mellow. It was also aged on cherry wood, which is pretty dope. Um, and then the psychopomp is a little bit more um, acidic um, and fuller bodied because they fermented it at a higher temperature. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so sorry. Are you Skewer. prepared to join your spirit with the beast world, friend? I, I am ready. Very well. I'm gonna drink my uh, my hegier here, and you know, this can be the the. You know, my Viking blood mead from uh, Aella that I'm consuming. Participate in the blood ritual. Use the Underforge fountain. <laughs> Have 
a scoop and a loop. Nice. What? Okay. So normally it lets you run out the, I don't know. Normally I like to run out into the field that way, but I am gonna run through here and if there are any guards, I'll kill them. But I don't wanna kill any regular folk, so. For those of you who are confused why I'm looting while I'm doing this, I do have the Moonlight Tales mod downloaded, um, which means that you can like loot and do stuff um, while you're a werewolf, which is, I don't know, I, I kind of like it. Never should have come here. There we go, okay, cool. Yours was not an easy transformation, but you're still alive. I did so kill some guards. We even have a celebration planned for you. Oh, heck yeah. There's a pack of werewolf hunters camped nearby at Gallows Rock. The Silver Hand. I think you've met them before. We're going to slaughter them. All of them. Heck yeah. Lead on. Skior's already scouting ahead. Heck yeah. Also, okay, canonically, can I just say, I'm wearing silver armor and they talk about silver being like bad for Daedric influenced entities like werewolves. Uh, so I can only imagine that my transformations are incredibly painful with, uh, you know, silver armor literally coating my entire body, but whatever. Um, also in VR, this would be dope. Um, I don't know, I forget who made it, but there was a guy who made a video like where he obsessively made like the best version of Skyrim VR. And it makes me want a headset just so I can <laughs> replicate it. But yeah, uh, so I got some options. Maybe I'll just go through all of them. What just happened? You were born into the pack, brother. I almost envy you. That first time is always the most intense. Yikes. You gave us even more trouble than Farkas did at his first turning. Am I a werewolf now? That's kind of an obvious thing. I'm not going to ask that. Um, let's see. What does it mean to be a werewolf? <laughs> Nothing until you choose to use it. Then, well, you got a taste. Stronger, faster. I am uh, definitely not Markiplier. It doesn't last long, as much as I, you the know. The blood of your foes I, can I respect sustain him, you. But I am not. If I am not to feed. Of course. <laughs> the more we feed, the greater our prowess will grow. We could perhaps discover even more gifts of her scene. That is foreshadowing, if ever I heard it. Um, okay, okay. Where are we going? The Silver Hand have taken over the old fort at Gallows Rock. They always make such easy prey. Cool. Again. Until next time. It would have been kind of neat to be like, I don't know. Um, it would have been kind of neat to be, um, you know, if for playing like a holy character, you could like choose the side of the silver hand and like purify the companions or something like that. I don't know. That would have been kind of cool. Um, I'm going to swap my apparel for role-playing reasons um, because silver armor doesn't necessarily make sense for somebody being a werewolf in my humble opinion so we're gonna swap to steel boots and did I do I really have any other armors um, oh hey lunar contact welcome back um, also, Dots, you are totally good chatting a lot. I, I prefer, honestly, more, like, you know, frequent chats. Uh, gives me something to bounce off of and, you know, talk. It gives me, uh, you know, I, I like to talk to people while I'm doing stuff. So uh, I appreciate it, honestly. Um, 
Also, instead of the steel boots, I think I wanna wear the leather ones just cause they're from the anniversary edition. I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a mod thing, I think, and I have no idea what it's from. This might be the only armor I have, unfortunately. So, I didn't think that through. I'm not gonna wear white run guard armor. That's dorky. Um, carry weight's not good enough, so we might have to backpack it, friends. Uh, oh well. I had an iron helmet at one point. I think I probably sold it. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. I will just wear my silver and deal with it as a, as a werewolf. There are no implications other than my own lore immersiveness. Ooh, hello. Okay, if I have the Moonlight Tales mod, I can probably transform into a beast. Let's go. All right, let's feed, baby. Bloodlust extended. Literally all I want is this gold, and I guess the ingredients. I guess cured is, okay, fine. I want those things, okay. Let's, oh. Okay, for anybody who's not sure why I'm eating everybody, um, eating people in uh, in in the Skyrim Anniversary Edition slash uh, Skyrim with um, the um, Dawn Guard DLC uh, gives you points towards. Um, doing stuff like, uh, it's, it's basically werewolf skill points. Um, but then with the Moonlight Tales mod, it also extends your bloodlust so you can stay as a werewolf for a really long time, as long as you're eating. So that's kind of cool. Look at and this. I got a lot of stuff to do. Down after Skior charged in. Okay. Taste the fear. Well, let's find that chain. Let's find some friends. Just quick. Nice. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. Well. I almost killed me, so I'm glad I did that. Uh, oops. I'm pretty sure extending is the, uh, um, I'm pretty sure it's from the Moonlight Tales, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Don't take my word as gospel. Look, they tortured a poor werewolf. It's one of our boys. Dead one, isn't there? Thought so. Nobody we know by the smell. Well, the feral. This poor sod could have been anyone. We should keep moving. Well, that's sad. Um, that door is barred from the other side, which totally means that that door is where we're gonna come out from at the end because this game, if anything, is predictable in that you will find <laughs> Oh, also, let's see. Oh, extending is vanilla. What? That's nuts. 
I don't buy it. Ow. Okay. Oh, I might die, guys. Uh, ah! Guess it's all clear. Oops, friends, I died. Gotta cover your uh, <laughs> Oopsies. Okay. Well. Um. Also. Um. Okay, I'm gonna look at my mods really quick. Um. I definitely had a mod. Okay, I just need to look at this really quick. One of them. Eh, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Um, this is Moonlight Tales. Um, I have a, a diverse werewolves one where you can choose like your werewolf color and stuff like that. And I kind of want to customize this because like, mm, you know. Um, also Dots, hey, I am right there with you. Uh, the, main, the main quest to be fair is really fun. Um, and some of the shouts are really unique, but I wish you could like pair shouts like, you know, next to each other so i don't know it's one of the things that like i like mods for but yeah um let's see let's see okay uh i need to look at my instructions uh i have this no scripts vanilla records come on I had the instructions at one point. I know if I like, it's like a, if you look at this, cowards must have locked the place down after Skior charged know. in. It's something it about when you fear. like look down and come out of it, or something like that, that you can switch your uh, skin and stuff like that. But I don't remember. So, oh well in an effort to uh, keep this entertaining. We'll just kill some folks, and uh, we'll figure it out after the fact. That's what we needed. Also, it is nice to be able to loot because then you can like eat stuff that they have. It's kind of helpful. There's a dead one, isn't there? Yep. Thought so. Nobody we know by the smell. Dude, all the time, like, my first playthrough of Skyrim, every time I would get, like, every time I would get, like, over-encumbered in the world, <laughs> I would just take, or I would just turn into a, a werewolf and run to my nearest house. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Lunar Contact, there is definitely a weight hack. When you transform, you can totally uh, transform, and then your uh, 
you're good to go. You just uh, gotta transform, and then it doesn't matter how much stuff you have. So, all right. I do appreciate Moonlight Tales for letting me loot stuff. There's a werewolf I think you can let out of their cage. Um, it's like alive. Um, there we go, we got a werewolf perk available. Let's go already. Um, I think there's a live werewolf in here. Um, but we don't have the rip the uh, doors off of their hinges perk, so. Okay, let's see. Roar of Terror, Roar of the Pack. I am more of a Roar of t Terror kind of guy, because I think that makes the most sense. Okay, can I look at the future ones? All right. Um, the moon, savage feeding, beast tide. Uh, one of these. Hmm. Ooh, I do like the revert form one. It is, it is a nice one. Uh, ow. Okay, what I was saying is I think that there is a perk that lets you rip, uh, or maybe it was a mod that I had also. <laughs> it, at this point, it is a, a hard thing to differentiate, but uh, you could rip locked doors open just by just because you are a werewolf, um, which also made uh, this kind of useful. But it was fun, because like you could get in here, rip this open, and then like have a werewolf fight but alas. All right, all right, all right. Let's kill some friends. Let's go. And yes, uh, Cameron, uh, the, uh, let's see, okay. Uh, there's, the, the, the Moonlight Tales definitely adds a bunch of, uh, perks, and actually right now my, my difficulty is at... It is at adept. Let's see. Let's kill some friends. All right, dead. Good stuff, good stuff. I think our next person we gotta kill is Krev the Skinner. Um, and then all the people around him, or her, because sometimes Krev loads as a lady, and uh, you know, girl boss, gatekeep, and gaslight. So, of course it's locked, and okay, I'm gonna look and see if I have uh, yeah, there it is. Break entry. In beast form, you can tear open most locked chests and doors. Locks requiring special keys are unbreakable. So, that's cool. Um, no, yeah, you're right. Vanilla Skyrim is like, do you want to be a werewolf? Or a slightly better werewolf. Thank you, Cameron. <laughs> um, in uh, the Moonlight Tales mod, you can um, make... Uh, it allows you to uh, have, um, what am I trying to say here? Um, okay, I am gonna quick save. 
I want to try sitting in this chair as a werewolf. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, did it? Oh, it. It didn't work. Huh? It kind of worked. I'm just sitting in the chair. That's all. <laughs> okay, it's not working. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go. That was a fun distraction. Um. Anyways. <laughs> um. Yes. Uh, Moonlight Tales does let you scale difficulty, so like there is. I don't know. It it balances it a little better because like the the uh, vampire lord form is so much more powerful than uh, the uh, wolf. So, you know, most people just choose to be uh, a vampire because of that. Um, whereas Moonlight Tales kind of, you know, balances things out. So it's not so, uh, I don't know, not so unbalanced and like weak to be a werewolf. So, of course it's locked. All right. They call him the Skinner. I don't uh, think I need to tell you why. Oh, you don't. I can, I, I get it. We saw the dead werewolves. Okay, okay. Let's okay. kill him. <laughs> Gotta lead with Krev. Eat him in front of his friends. Ooh, take a little fur cloak, courtesy of Amon. All right, what we got, what we got. Good enough. Ooh. Mm. Love a werewolf kill cam. Wait, feed on somebody else? Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Okay, well. Man, I can't believe I thought that the uh, extending bloodlust was not uh, vanilla. The bastards! Somehow they managed to kill Skior. He was one of the strongest we had. He sure was. But numbers can overcome. I'll raise a glass. He or should a, not a horn have come without Skior. a brother. Get out of here! I'm going to make sure we got the last of them and see if there's any information to be gotten from the bodies. You and I have work to do. The Silver Hand will tremble at our sight. Heck yeah. You know it. What's our first target? What's our first target? the world for more pieces of Boothrad. One group is hidden out in the pale. Okay. Get it back for the honor of us all. You bet. Uh, oh dang. Put on some clothes, you damn fool. Shut up. <laughs> Guys, I can eat Skewer. I think Skewer would want this for us. I think I think he'd want to uh, I think he'd want us to, you know, level our progression here really quick. So, uh, and Ayala doesn't seem too bothered by it. So I think, I think I'm gonna eat Skewer. <laughs> Thanks for the sustenance, bud. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, Cameron, you are right. Like, and it's kind of clear that like Skewer and Ayala were like in love. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, definitely taking his wolf armor and boots because it's the only way to get it. Um, and I'll take his Skyforge steel weapons and leave him with his shield. So we essentially just stripped him and ate him. Oops. Uh, Have you been bringing the battle see. to the okay. Silver Hand, okay. friend? I wish I could be there with you. Soon enough. Yeah. Okay. I'll take my leave then. What a what a little man we are. What a little man wolf guy. Um, I really wish that I could customize my appearance right now, cause uh, that would be nice. Um, okay, I do really want the break entry perk. Uh, 
so I'm gonna take that. Um, so we can get that next, and then I'll go to the Roar of Terror. Okay. Um, well, guess we're a werewolf for a bit, and we might as well ride it out. Actually, okay, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I'll take a mace, I'll take some gold, I'll take a lockpick, and a scroll, because they're good to sell. <laughs> um, cool. Take a little potion. Um, and actually, uh... I am going to do two things really quick. Uh, while my guy sits here, I am going to, oh, that is gnarly with the beheaded werewolves. Um, I am gonna go to put on a sweatshirt really quick, and I'm also gonna take a bathroom break um, really briefly. So I will be right back, and I have a fun animation for you all. Uh, courtesy of some boredom this weekend and experimentation with OBS. So, uh, hope this works. But, uh, let me hop out really quick with my mouse and we'll see. Princess Nick has to go potty. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I had fun setting that up. <laughs> um, all right, well, we've got our loot going on. Uh, let's see. Ooh, a, uh, a poor dead werewolf. Let's uh, take all this crap, which is not a lot, to be fair. This is a gory little room. Um, Let's see, ooh, I got 30 seconds before I revert form. That's fine. Or maybe a minute and a half. I don't remember what the countdown is. Um, but we out of here. Oh, and of course, transformation time. And again, okay, back to the uh, over and <laughs> encumbered. Uh, let's see. All right, let's see. How much stuff do I have? I have a lot of stuff. Oopsie, oopsie. Um, as fun as it is to have the white run guard stuff, I don't really need it. Um, and I do like the steel armor. I'm gonna ditch the boots. Let's see if I can swing this. Um. <laughs> yeah, hey, it uh, it would have sounded weird to have the AI say like Prince Nick. Uh, I think it's fun with the, uh, if for those of you who don't know that quote is from uh, 
The Princess Diaries 2. <laughs> so, it was kind of fun. Um, I need to drop some weapons or something. Gosh dang it. <laughs> the bane of my existence. Inventory management. <laughs> Uh, we still have 20 pounds to lose. Jeez, where am I gonna lose it? Maybe all the ingots in my pockets. Oops. And these are at zero, of course, because I'm a little mod boy. Uh, and uh, let's see, let's see. Ooh, what's heavy, what's heavy? Maybe we'll eat and drink some. And uh, Dot's uh, very flattering, but I, I am married. Uh, let's see. What do I need to drop? I don't want to drop that. I like it. And this has the Skyrim, you know, the Imperial logo. Come on, come on. Oh, you, you're right. It is 90% inventory. Thank you, Lunar Contact. Um, hmm. I really should just sell some weapons. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll drop those. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Classic, okay. Uh, I'm also gonna switch helmets really quick. Uh, and then, yeah, that's that's pretty dang Vikingy, if ever I if I if I had to say so. Um, okay, we out. All right, fun. Okay, well, Skewer's dead. Oops, glad I asked him uh, what it meant to him to be a companion while well, I had the chance. Poor little werewolf man. Okay, fun. So, what do we need to do next? Let's, uh. Oh, she tasked me with Fort Fellhammer, which is, yeah, cool. Um, not gonna go there right now, but uh, maybe it's a good time to assess what other quests we got in the, uh, in here. Um, tame the goat. Ah, uh, Halvern Rorikstead. Bones for a crow. Blessings of nature. Ooh, let's do the blessings of nature. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think a little nettle bane sounds good right now. You know? Maybe we'll end it with that, uh, with that one. But I should really stop by Whiterun really quick and sell some stuff. And I'm sure you're tired of hearing that, but I am over encumbered, so, oops. Okay. Let's sell some stuff. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Yep. Yep, yep. Welcome to War Maidens. Now, hmm. What you got for sale? Blades, Let's helmets, go. pretty much anything to suit your needs. Oh, at this point, I could buy a horse, friends. That'd be fun. Um, it would also be very, I mean, incredibly useful. Um, I really need a house, though. Uh, because I, I, I don't want to sell my silver armor and stuff, so I don't know. 
I need a place to put it. Alright, I'm gonna sell the steel armor. I can make it later or something. I'll sell the werewolf pelts. Is that all of the stuff I have? Come on. I'll sell the mace. Yeah, messing with the INI file is uh, tricky, to say the least. Let's see. I'll give him that. Uh, I don't want to give him my shield, necessarily. Okay, that's good enough. I need a house. That's that's where we're at. Good doing business with you. Yes, sir. I don't... What game? Okay, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing, and, like... The, the top button uh, is the, the one to like uh, pull the menu up. So that's why I've been jumping every time right before I do the, the uh, uh, menu, my B. Um, okay, this is a, a relatively manageable carry weight, but I'm gonna stop by Bellathor's really quick. Um, then we'll do Nettlebane and the, uh, that whole quest. And then uh, we'll wrap the stream, but I will, uh, I got some announcements, so stay tuned. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. Thanks, Everything's Bellathor. for sale, my friend, everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Nice. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay. Let's get through here. I'm not gonna sell him any of my booze because it's mine. Uh, maybe I should be drinking it while I'm doing stuff for lore reasons. Um, let's see, some boots. Mm. I like that crown. I'm not gonna sell him it. I shouldn't sell these either because they don't contribute to my carry weight right now. Ay, ay, ay. This is my plight. Hmm. Yeah, I'll sell those. I know they're kind of useful, but eh. well, I would eat that. I will eat that later. Um, okay. Hmm. I know this is so entertaining, so <laughs> I appreciate your uh, hanging on while I get rid of some inventory and carry weight. Um. <laughs> Every time you eat pizza, you sneeze. Oh boy. Uh, the mod management is, uh, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work, honestly. I'll eat that later. I think I know that, but in case I don't, I'm gonna hang on to it. Um, I will sell this, because it's not that useful, and it weighs a fair amount. And I'll sell, I mean, I'll sell those for zero dollars. You can have them. I'll give you those thistle branches. That's a present for me. And I'll sell you some claws, and you know what they say, ain't no laws when we're drinking claws. Cool. Well, that's that's good enough. Deuces, Duke. Bellathor. I won't. Actually, I will, but not right now. Why did it push me through here? I don't know. Okay. And we're out.
And of course I start picking flowers and I need to stop. Okay. Let's go. Let's let's get on up here and we'll pick Ember Shard Mine so we can take the road up there. Okay, well, I'm out of those meads. Uh, Cameron, just for you, I will go grab some Haunting Brew so we can kind of check in and see where it's at while we're playing. Okay, I'm back. So, um, this is my haunting brew meat um, that just came off the uh, the fermenter. It's really sweet right now, so it's not super alcoholic yet. Um, I mean, it's still, I don't know, fairly alcoholic, but it's apple ginger lavender, um, which is pretty interesting. Um, I don't know. I think it's pretty dope. Um, I think it'll clarify really nicely. Um, let's see. Okay, I need to go right, not left, to get up that road. This is, of course, the road that uh, we end up on uh, coming out of Helgen. I was like 99% sure you were joking, Dots, so <laughs> nice. Actually sneezing when you eat uh, when you eat pizza. That's wild. Ooh, a Thalmor, let's kill him. You're interfering with official Thalmor business. Yeah, well, guess what? I don't care. Move along. Ah! Walk away now. Ah! On. Power to the people. Whether you're a stormcloak or an imperial, you can uh, you can agree that the Thalmor suck. I really don't want to go all the way up into Helgen yet. Although, maybe we could. I don't know. Okay, let's... I guess we kind of have to, because we can't really get around it otherwise. Should we try to go find Vlod's mead? Because I think enough time has passed that we should be able to rediscover it. Uh, oh, hello. Yep, totally. gonna grab some of Vlod's mead. Nice. Got him. Okay. 
Should I just be a werewolf here? So I can level up some skills? I think maybe I should, if I have the option. I don't. Eh, oh well. Oh well, we'll still, we'll still go over here. I'll carve you into pieces. Nice. Love killing somebody while they're blocking. <laughs> it just looks so unnatural. Thank you for the gold. I would like to get over this thing. It's not really meant to walk back through this way, but oh well. <sighs> and of course our final bandit is over there. Okay, we're gonna just jump through. All right, let's get him. I bet he's up here. Yeah. That's the stuff. Okay, ooh, I do like a little blizzard scroll. Um, okay, now I'm gonna jump through this window and if enough time has passed, Vlod's mead will be in this house. Are you kidding? Come on. <laughs> I didn't jump far enough, apparently. Uh, yep. That is a bottle of Vlod's mead, the mead with juniper berry, which I could pour right now, but I don't think I'm gonna. Um, I would like to save it for a little bit. Um, because I only have the one bottle left. Um, but, again, I, my, uh, Vlod's Mead video is, uh, you know, if you're curious about what it tastes like, <laughs> you can check that out. Um, it's tasty and it has, you know, mellowed out really nicely over the course of roughly 10 months. Okay. Cool. We, for the most part, have uh, gone through Helgen, and we're good to go. Um, dots, I do not have a hydrometer. Uh, I should, though. Uh, that is one of my guilty, uh, I don't know, guilty choices is that I just did not uh, actually invest in one, and... Uh, at this point, I just kind of wing it, and <laughs> whatever the percentage is, is whatever the percentage is on, on my home brews. And uh, yeah, it might not be the smartest choice, but it's the choice I made. So on my Vlod's Mead one, I, I brewed with, um, geez, what was it? Um, it wasn't uh, super fancy meat. It was like, or uh, super fancy honey. It was a, a pretty cheap one from uh, Walmart, but uh, I would advise going a little bit higher end than that. Um, I mean, you can still get it at Walmart, but get something that's like a, a local wildflower or something like that. Am I gonna be able to discover this from down here? Or can I just cheese it and kind of clip my way up there? Oh, I hate this. I wish there was a climbing mechanic in Skyrim so bad. <laughs> I don't care enough to do that. But yeah, honey-wise, uh, I mean, the I think the, the one at Walmart you should use would be the, um, uh, what is it, um, Ambrosia? That's like, what they call it. That one's a really good choice. Um, and it's actually what I used for the uh, 
the mead that, um, or the haunting brew mead I did, because I did ambrosia honey and ambrosia apples, because I thought that was kind of a fun thing. I am gonna die here. Oops. Oopsies, I was not paying attention. How can we cheese ourselves out of this, guys? Okay, I'm gonna back out, quick save. And we'll try to do this quickly. Oh, there's a hag raven up here. Yeah, hello. All right. I think we can cheese it with the bow and arrow. What? Who's, oh, jeez, right in front of me. Gosh. All right. Uh, I'm gonna use my silver greatsword. Enjoy off. killing you. Enough. <laughs> she went from "I am gonna enjoy killing you" to "Enough." Ah. Sorry. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. What can I say? Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Just please hold still. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll quick save and try rushing in there. save again and we're just gonna bum rush them and hopefully you know get enough damage in that uh, we'll be good ah oh, they're so creepy good good work you okay and we take Nettlebane, which is really just a green-skinned uh, ebony dagger, but you know, who's counting? Okay, who's this? All right, we're gonna switch to one of our other weapons and kick your butt. Good stuff. And nothing good. All right, let's loot. Oy. Yeah, the the hag ravens are creepy. They are uh, they are part old lady and part crow monster. So they're fun, and we kind of hate them. Okay, do I have anything to disenchant? An orcish dagger of weariness. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I'll take that. I don't want to. I didn't. I meant to take the death bell. Oops. That's enough of that. Cool. Okay. Ooh, a chest. Yes. 
think that's good enough. Oop, a thing of ice. Let's go. Ah, I already have that. Never mind. Okay, back to Danica Pure Spring. Oh, the courier. Hello. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your, Your hands, hands only. only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, what is it? And now we gotta talk to Durak. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against Sorry the growing that. vampire menace. What do you say? I haven't noticed any vampire menace or What's the Dawn Guard? Or killing vampires? Where do I sign up? Or sorry, I'm not interested. Um, I know this is that he wants to hear killing vampires. Where do I sign up? So, um, you know, I think I'm just gonna ask him what the Dawn Guard is. We're vampire hunters. We search out and destroy those blood-sucking scum wherever we find them. Okay. Well, I'll say. Killing vampires? Where do I sign up? Ha! Huh. Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawnguard material. Cool. And now we can find out about the Dawnguard. Okay. Okay. Um. So, we have the Dawnguard unlocked as a, a quest option. Um. Okay, I am going to run up and talk to our friend Danica. And we'll get this, this Nettlebane situation squared away. Okay, oh, is she in, in bed? Of course she is. Nope, yeah, yeah. Of course she's busy. Just got to heal somebody, I bet. Or not. <laughs> what is it? What has happened to the Gilder Green? I have traveled long here to worship beneath its branches. It Shut was up, taken Maurice by Lightning John Strike. Drell. Wish I had time to deal with it, but it's hard enough with all these wounded from the war. Please, don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. I really don't Disgrace have time to deal them. with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But this is supposed to be your work. Wow, what a, a What's baby. happened to the Gilder Green is a travesty. I mean, I agree. Don't get me wrong, but maybe chill. So, have you gotten Nettlebane oh. back from those filthy hag ravens yet? I guess we're having a conversation through the wall. Oh, well. <laughs> um, yes, I have found Nettlebane for you. Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course, I'm glad you did. Now... Why are people sending me to my death? I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? <sighs> yes, I could. What needs to be done? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't tempt me. I'll do it. Okay, do I really want to do it right now, though, is the question, because it is just about 9.30. Um, hmm. I don't really want to go all the way over there and do all uh, Maybe I will. Okay, we're going to buy a horse. It's only, it's 6 a.m. It's the perfect time to buy a horse. And with the Skyrim Anniversary Edition, we can armor our horses. Just like, uh, you know. Dude, Oblivion got put on blast for... Uh, or Bethesda did rather when Oblivion released their one paid, or I mean initially paid DLC for uh, horse armor. 
people tore them to shreds, and now you can, like, nobody bats an eye at, like, Fortnite skins, so, like, that's wild. Alright, hello, Skullvar. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, I forgot about the wild horses. I'm gonna buy a wild horse map. We're gonna do that. We're, we'll do that. We can, we can end on picking up a wild horse. Of course. All right. Um, cool. Ride strong. Thanks, Skullvar. Um, let's let's go find. Okay, I've I've uh, looked at this, but I believe the red horse is. Um, okay. No, I need the map. Oh, I guess this is. Yeah, the red one is west of White Run. Um, Thought there was an actual map, but eh, oh well. I it's over here somewhere, and you have to just like get on it a few times. But then you, I don't know. It's a it's a cheaper way to get a horse than uh, dropping a thousand coins for it outright. So I can live with that. But I do, I think, I don't know. I did this on one playthrough. Oh yeah, it's, it's over here. But it, of course they only spawn once you buy the book. So whatever. We just gotta run and catch up with it and hop on and then get kicked off and hop on. And, Wild horses will buck until tamed, stay mounted until they submit. If you're thrown, try again. Once tamed, you can add a saddle and rename them at any stable. When changing horses, tamed horses will return to the location where they were found. <laughs> Gotta love some ragdoll physics. Yeah, the, the EA executives, man, they just, they had some really out-of-pocket stuff to say about uh, things like uh, loot boxes. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, this is definitely... Uh, I This has to be an homage to Link's horse. Uh, somebody please remind me of what it's called. Um, okay, it went that way. And it's, of course, being attacked by a wolf. Which means I'm gonna have to kill a wolf. No, come on. There we go. I like that it lets you get on, like, <laughs> just, just long enough. And okay. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Tame. We did it. Epona, thank you. Yes, this is definitely this this red horse has to be an homage to Epona. Okay, we're gonna get it some armor. First things first. Assess at that point. Um, cool. We did it. Let's talk to Skullvar Sablehilt. Need something? I'd like to armor my horse. Of course. Ooh, definitely not. Elvin, we're gonna go with steel armor. We have armor. I would like to change my horses. Saddle. Of course. Um, we're gonna give it the white saddle, and mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna register and rename. Of course. It. I don't have the horse whistle mod. I don't think right now. Oh, what? Where's my armor? Come out. 
Um, I did. I really like the horse whistle mod. Um, of course. Of course. He charges me extra. Right oh, well. strong. We've got the steel armor, baby. Got a dope looking horse. Although the the back of it, I will say, looks a little bit like a big metal skirt. So it's not necessarily my favorite, but I can live with it. Uh, I am gonna fast travel. As much as I would like to go by Valheim Towers, I can spend hours there. Uh, just finding creative ways to uh, kill the people at Valheim Towers. So we're gonna not do that in an effort to uh, spend our time wisely in this playthrough. For the time being. We'll, we'll get um, experimental and creative later on. But I've got meads to pair with very specific quests, so. Um, it is what it is. Um, and again, I am streaming again on Saturday. Uh, to those of you who missed that announcement, uh, I will talk a little bit more about it later. Um, I also have another announcement not related to the stream that I will do as soon as we get through this cave. So, stay tuned. Yeah, I, I have, uh, I don't know. I've used the creation engine one time, not not to actually create like a, a real mod um, with in-game assets and stuff like that. Um, I made a mod that <laughs> put the Lord of the Rings music into uh, the uh, into Skyrim, where like uh, you know the the Bridge of Khazad Doom song would play like in cave combat and like, I don't know, I just, I mapped like the music to play in appropriate settings, like, or like just shuffle in. And it was, it was fun. Um, but uh, yeah, that was, um, I, it also, I never post published it and uh, it was on the 32 bit OG version of Skyrim, Hello so there, yeah. Come to enjoy the sights and sounds of this beautiful sanctuary as I have. Truly remarkable, isn't it? Yep. Thanks, Sond. Um You bet. Welcome to Elder Gleam Sanctuary, my friend. If you have any questions, speak to Ast. So unfortunately these people will hate us uh, for what we're about to do. I would speak to Asta if I could see her. Oh, she was sitting, of course. Amazing that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic thunder. Praise Kinareth for allowing such beauty in the world. What is this place? You are an Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinareth has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? And that tree? Is that Elder Gleam? Yes, my friend though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Why not? As you can see, Eldrigleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Eldrigleam herself would lift her roots for, more out of fear than respect. You mean this weapon? The rumors were true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. Well, we're gonna. You don't know what you're dealing with. There will be consequences if you harm that tree. Leave this place. You're not welcome here anymore. Sorry, but I got a quest, lady. You don't know what you're dealing with. I wonder what Sand has to say Leave now. Leave this place. You're not welcome. Don't come any closer. I don't want Pinaret to think I'm on your side. Thanks, Sand. I appreciate your well help. <laughs> of course, my friend. Yeah. If you have any questions, that's some real NPC behavior. Um, okay. Well, we are gonna use it. So, 
Sari, Asta, and San. We gotta move these roots out of the way with the Nettlebane. There we go. Move, tree. Let's go. I gotta, gotta get some sap and then probably fight some Spriggans. Yeah. Yeah. Activate the Elder Gleam and here come our friends, the Spriggans. Um, in the interest of, uh, you know, lore friendliness. Let's have the, the nettle bane out while we're doing some damage and maybe have some fire destruction because it's good against trees. I feel terrible doing this. You'd think that it would uh, let you like if it would make nettle bane like insta kill them but yeah. I didn't know that Maurice was supposed to stop you. Um, I don't know, maybe if I talk to him after, I don't know. Point being, he's not here. Um, well, I'm gonna poison my sword and drink a potion. Yeah. All right. Killed the Spriggan. I just feel bad because they're just doing their job protecting nature, you know? Um, and unfortunately, they are also gonna kill all of the humans down there. So. Oops. But hey, we gotta get that tree and white run up and running again, you know? I need to take a potion so I don't die fighting a freaking Spriggan. And she totally killed. Yeah, they totally killed the people. Sorry, folks. I did not mean to get you caught in the crossfire, but oops. Um, yeah, you can, uh, if, I mean, if you just trigger it like you're gonna drink a poison, you can, uh, um, apply it to whatever weapon you have in your hand. Um, speaking of, we'll do our Ancient Nord bow, and we will make our target weaker to fire, because they're already weak to fire. Again to this other one, if we can hit it, and oh, I missed, oh well. I missed again, okay. Well, we are gonna bust out some fire magic, and let's see, what's our most, you know, we'll, we'll do the nettle vein, that's fine. Potion it up again. Maybe we'll do some magic, clear some inventory for that, and we will poison the nettle bane with um, frostbite venom. Why not? And I should probably heal. I feel really bad about all that. <laughs> but, we did our quest. <sighs> all right, all right, let's, oh, 
harvest the Jazz Bay grapes. And... Yeah, I would use the White Run Axe, but the random enchantment it gave me was uh, not useful. Ooh, a little restoration. I stole, but no one was here to see me. Uh, I'm sorry, Asta. I did not mean to get you killed. I'll send you off <laughs> with a warrior's uh, funeral in the river. And your friend, too. Song. It is really hard to save these people, but I think I've done it before. Uh, so it's possible, but uh, not at like a very low level. You have to like one hit kill people with an arrow to get the uh, Spriggans before they get to the folks. So, you know. Yeah. All right, well. Let's go heal the Gilderglean, baby. <laughs> you know, Dots, I'm not trying to disrespect. I'm just, you know, giving him a, giving him a warrior's burial. <laughs> I forgot I had a horse and I was like, what is in my face? You know, that's fair, Lunar Contact. Uh, oops. Um, let's, oh, of course there are enemies nearby. What kind of enemies? I don't know. Ooh, I think around here is where uh, there's a giant who just uh, sits there and uh, won't attack you because he's so sad about his mammoth dying, but I don't know where he's at. And I don't really want to deal with bandits and stuff. Just some folks in the tub? What's up? Good afternoon. <laughs> afternoon. Uh, huh. 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 You're the one sitting here naked. Although, to be real, not a bad setup. You know, they got the, they got the, the wine, the, t the hot springs. I mean, this is how I want to spend my time. Like, look at that. That's a, that's an afternoon if ever I saw one, so. Oh, hey, on her back. Need something? N nope. I will get out of here, but, uh, Thank you. Um, okay, well, hopefully I can fast travel. Dear God. <laughs> good, we're good to go. Yes, I am very glad, Dots, that I uh, do not have nude mods. One of the texture mods I downloaded had a surprise section, and I was like, in the event that this one is going to be a... Uh, the, the surprise section of the install is is going to be a nude. I am just not going to risk it. So I'm glad I made that choice. Because that would have been awful. Alright, Danica. I did your thing. Wake up. Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? I got the sap. Wonderful. I'll use it to repair the tree. Thank you so much for all your help. You bet. Um... Yep. Be careful and stay safe. Thanks. Um... I'll try to do that. Um... I am going to... Let's see, what are we... It's, it's midnight. That is the time to head to the Bannered Mare if ever there was a time to go. Um, oh boy. Sight for sore eyes, that Bannered Mare sign. Um, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, 
think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I betrayed your uh, your bartender, Holda. Oops. Um, I'm sure it's not so fun doing it all yourself. Um, I'm gonna take off my little backpack. I guess I could just do this. Um, where's my helmet? I'm just gonna do that. And we're gonna walk in here. I'm over encumbered technically, but I don't know, it's a, it's a fit. Um, all right, I am gonna have a seat at this, this uh, bar stool. And we're gonna end the stream soon. Uh, not necessarily right here. Um, also, yeah, Dots, I, I hear you there. Uh, I don't really wanna like mess with uh, risking anything with YouTube kids. Uh, that is, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm trying to grow this channel and I don't wanna <laughs> hurt my shot right now, so. Me and uh, John Battleborn will just chill it out here. Um, but um, I'm gonna save our game really quick. Um, talk a little bit. Um, so in in the next, <laughs> thank you so much, Dots. Uh, I I tried to make uh, my my character the the ideal version of myself uh, plus face tats. So, yeah. Um, ooh, Merchants and Inns mods. That would be nice. Um, let's see. Okay. Well, um, I am going to probably call it here um, in terms of quest stuff, but I do want to give a little bit of a hint uh, for the future. I enjoy Two this things. work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. Hold up. I've been thinking of selling the into Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? Uh, thank you, Holda. Um, so, uh, I'm going to be you? doing, oh, she's gonna interrupt me a lot, so I'm just gonna talk over her. But um, I am going to be doing thirsty? a bonus stream on uh, Saturday. Um, we'll, we'll have a couple extra huh? drinks. Um, I will have the Be Proud uh, Cassis mead that I had in stream number two, I... but I will compare it with the cocktail that inspired it. Um, and we'll maybe have a couple other co yeah. cocktails or um, meads as well. Um, and we're gonna do um, some other quests that I will need to get to level 16 for. There are some, some Daedric quests that uh, I'm particularly interested to uh, or in, in doing. So, um, yeah, uh, we're going to do uh, Sanguine's quest. That's that's the one. So, um, we're gonna, we'll do that. It's kind of hangover inspired. Um, but uh, beyond just additional streams, um, I am also gonna release another, another YouTube video, provided I can uh, wrap my edit uh, by then, but, uh, on probably Thursday or at the latest Friday, um, I will have another video up on this channel that is, uh, uh, surrounding, uh, you know, medieval movies and TV shows that are coming out, um, and also exploring just the genre and also, um, I don't know, it's, the, the increase in medieval fantasy content paired with a decrease in demand for things like superhero content. So I hope that uh, you'll you'll like it. Um, but that that video will come out and then on Saturday we're doing a bonus stream. So um, that's that's kind of those are my big announcements. Um, I'm gonna give us a quick little save here. Um, but we'll, I'll try to pick up, you know, I'm gonna get this character to level 16, but I'll try to pick it back up at the Bannered Mare for, uh, the beginning of Saturday's stream. So, we'll see. But, um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get back out to my desktop. 
and let's see. Swap over to my chatting camera and just say thank you for tuning into the stream. Um, I hope that, uh, yes, the, the cape, cape was fire. Uh, I do like the, the cloaks mods. Uh, they're always fun. Um, but yeah, um, I hope that you enjoyed the stream today. Um, and I mean, we're going to be doing it weekly, so, uh, tune in, but Saturday bonus stream, um, and Thursday or Friday, uh, a regular channel video. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll, I'll, I hope you enjoy and, uh, we'll see you then and cheers.